Hello and welcome to In the Kitchen with Matt. I am your host, Matt Taylor. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about the Peel de Sapo or Santa Claus melon or Christmas melon. I'm gonna show you how to eat it and do a taste test. First of all, this melon originated in Spain and it gets its name um, from for two reasons. So the skin looks like a toad skin, hence the name Peel de Sapo. It gets the name Santa Claus or Christmas melon because it has long lasting um, storage qualities to it. So usually it's ripe in around end of August, September around there and you can pick it then when it's ripe and it could sit on your counter for like three, four months. So it's pretty awesome and kind of unique in that regard. And so originated in Spain but it's grown here in Arizona quite a bit. This one came from here in Arizona. It's grown in California a lot, and then also it's grown in South America and some other places like Australia. So let me bring the camera in for a closer look. So here we go. Here is a closer look at the Peel de Sapo or Santa Claus melon. See, as you can tell, look at the, the skin. It definitely looks like a toad skin and the texture is like that of a toad as well. So not just the color, but the texture as well. Pretty cool. And uh, this, um, probably can't read it, but down here it says product of Arizona. Pretty cool. I always love buying fruits and vegetables that were grown here locally. And so here, here are some health benefits about they're low in calories, high in vitamin C, high in vitamin A, and high in potassium, just like many other melons. So pretty cool. Now to eat it, just serve it like you would most melons. We're gonna come in here, just cut it down the middle. And there you have it. That's what it looks like in the middle. Looks like a lot of other melons. Pretty awesome. Now you don't eat the seeds like you would the Korean melon. So we're gonna scoop these out just like you would most melons. And this melon, this particular melon is closely related to the canary melon. I did a review of that melon here on my channel as well. And so let's just scoop these out. And just like the canary melon, there's a little bit of juice that accumulates on the bottom when you're scooping out these seeds so you can strain the seeds if you want to get as much of that juice out as you can. You could also save the seeds and try to plant them where you live but it needs like a hot drier climate to grow. Okay and just like I don't know if you can see it, but just like the canary melon, the pool of juice is kind of orangish. And it's a little orange on the inside, very reminiscent of the canary melon, which makes sense because they are closely related. I'm gonna scoop that pool of juice up. Yeah. Mmm, oh, it tastes almost identical to the canary melon. Um, Mildly sweet with a hint of tartness to it. Tastes kind of like a cantaloupe and a honeydew mixed together. Now to eat it, once you dig that up, you can, a lot of people will just take a half and they'll just scoop some out like this. Mmm. Whoa, that is really good. Again, tastes pretty much like a canary melon. Very soft. It's not as crisp as a honeydew or a cantaloupe, but it's a more soft texture. Just really good. Very easy to eat with a spoon. And then of course, the way that I normally would eat melons, I don't normally eat it with a spoon. A lot of people do, is you can just Cut it. Just cut it.
cut it into strips like this is a common way to eat melons. Um, if you turn it over on that side, it's a little easier to cut. But I want to cut it this way just so you can see the, the inside as I'm cutting it. And then you can just eat it like this. Or you can just scrape um, that rind or the peel off of there, the skin. You can just kind of go along it with the knife like this and cut that off too if you want, if you don't want to eat it that way. And that's a good way to do it if you're going to, you know, put it like in a salad or you're going to make like a soup or something out of it. Makes a refreshing soup or do like a drink or something like that. So you can just cut it like that. Pretty cool. Just like most melons, if you know how to, if you've eaten plenty of melons before, you'll have no problem cutting into this. But I'm gonna go ahead and taste it again. Mmm, 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 mmm. Really good. Um, not quite as sweet, I think, as a really ripe cantaloupe. Um, somewhere in between like a cantaloupe and money, honeydew. Um, just mildly sweet, but a little bit softer texture. Very good tasting melon. Mmm. The parts closer to the seed are more soft and a little more sweet than, than the part of the melon that's right next to the skin or the rind. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. But super, super good. Really juicy. You can put it in like a smoothie if you want. Um, just a really good tasting melon. If you, get a, if you get a chance to try one, I recommend that you try it and see if you like it. I'm Matt Taylor. This has been another episode of In the Kitchen with Matt. Thank you for joining me. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or requests, put them down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thumbs up, down the corner, push it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Check out my other videos. Take care. Time for me to dive into this some more. Oh yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Yummy, yummy, yummy.